thank you all for joining us to make what we believe is a historic announcement, one that should change the face of our city, allow us to confront some of the leading causes of chronic homelessness, help keep people in their homes, and provide much needed permanent affordable housing. We have three big announcements today. I know this is a lot for one announcement, but we thought it was important to move as quickly as possible to cover, cover a lot of ground and take immediate action. The three categories fall into first, preventing homelessness. Second, providing services and shelter to those who are currently experiencing homelessness. And third, to invest more in permanent affordable housing, which is the ultimate long-term solution for much of the challenges that people in our community are facing. I want to start by thanking Governor Andy Bashir for making a lot of this possible through allocating some federal funds that were available to the city so that we could invest directly in people and our community to address this challenge. So let's get right to it. First, we are here to announce $8.25 million in immediate assistance to keep people in their homes. We have been working as fast as we can, and we know that far too many people in our community have been stressed and worried as they've applied for funding over the past several months for rental assistance. To those who have applied, thank you for doing the right thing. And on behalf of our state and local governments, I am sorry that it has taken so long. Moving forward, we are going to continue to act with the haste that we have so far to continue to provide the support that we can. So first, let's talk about how that $8.25 million is going to be invested in direct relief to families that are in need. We're happy to announce continuation of some partnerships that Louisville Metro government has already had with two important local, impactful local nonprofits that will begin deploying millions of dollars to local families for emergency eviction prevention. This money comes from the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, or ERAP, which was then allocated to our city through the state. First, the Association of Community Ministries will be getting $5 million to provide direct rental assistance to thousands of Louisville families and individuals who are facing eviction, specifically targeted to the households who have already applied for assistance through the Healthy at Home Eviction Relief Fund. We're joined this morning by Claire Wallace, and I want to thank Claire, you and your partners. Oh, she's, oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. I want to thank Claire, you and your partners at Association of Community Ministries for everything that you have done to date for our city. You all have been one of the leading local service providers in eviction prevention efforts since the COVID 19 pandemic began nearly three years ago. And we want to thank you all very much for your work and for continuing to work with the city to get this assistance to those who are in need. Everyone who is eligible for this assistance, I believe has already been contacted by e email over the past day or so. We will reach out to them again, but to those who are eligible, please check your email for notification. Second, our partners at the Louisville Ur Urban League will be receiving $2 million which will assist clients specifically with security deposits and first month's rent, two of the greatest barriers that prevent renters from securing housing. Working as quickly as they can, the Urban League will be up and running with this program on February 20th, where they can begin to administer all of this. Thank these two partners, and along with this $7 million, there'll be another $1.25 million that is going towards mediation assistance and legal fees to legal aid for families and individuals who are currently navigating through eviction court. So combined, this first $8.25 million is going directly to individuals to prevent them from becoming homeless. Before we continue with the next two parts, I wanna introduce one of those partners, the CEO of the Urban League, the amazing Dr. Kish Kumi Price. Kish? 
Thank you, Mayor. Um, so I, I just want to share just quickly uh, that we know that this is important and we want to ensure that we have a good plan in place to make sure that there's no false hope and we get the folks who are eligible um, for these these dollars to get those um, and be able to have some stability. But along with that, everything that we're talking about, resources, the investment, it's about the system. And so we know that there are some really gaping holes in our systems that also prevent families from having stable housing. And so we're looking forward to collaborating with the mayor and his administration and the other partners in our community to, to help solve those issues. So I'm saying we're excited about being able to get this funding out, but we're even more excited about looking at the big picture and the landscape of how we can do this collectively. And I will also attest to the fact that I know what it's like to be on the side of not knowing um, you know, how you're going to provide for your family and not knowing how you're going to have uh, what you need. And so this is a really core issue that we need to be solving quickly. So thank you so much for your efforts in this area. Thank you, Kish. Thank you, Claire. Thank you to your organizations and everyone that's a part of them for everything that both of your organizations do for our city and will continue to do. Second, we've been looking at what we as a city can do more to provide services and shelter to those who are currently experiencing homelessness. So I'm very excited to announce a plan that we believe is, is unique something that we believe is the first of its kind in the country that will be a national model for other cities to follow. It's the culmination of over a year of very hard work from our partners at Norton Healthcare, UofL Health, the Coalition for the Homeless, and other local organizations. This is an impressive, important, groundbreaking partnership that is going to change a lot of lives in our community for the better. So I'm very proud to announce the creation of a new community care campus located in the Smoketown neighborhood, just east of I-65, which will provide medical respite care, temporary housing, connection to community services, and more. This new facility will address a critical gap in the, in the care system to increase care to those who are experiencing homelessness, to reduce hospital readmissions, to assist with the transition to temporary or permanent housing, to connect those who experience homelessness with more and better services and help break the cycle of chronic homelessness. The facilities on the new community care campus will be a safe place for hospitals to discharge patients who are experiencing homelessness who require ongoing medical support. This support will include but not be limited to wound care, physical therapy, IV antibiotics, some home health services, and much more. This campus will also ad will address both the physical and mental health services that are needed with 24-7 case management to provide connection to other services and referrals to community resources. This, will, this facility will also include temporary housing to bridge the gap between hospital discharge and the wait for a shelter bed or even better permanent housing, which can sometimes take 90 days or more. We have reached an agreement to purchase the property along East Breckenridge Street that's bordered by Floyd and Brook Street for $6.9 million, which is significantly below the property's assessed value. That property, property is currently home to the View Hotel and Guest House, the C2 event space, and additional ancillary buildings and green space. I would like to thank the current owner of that property, George Stinson, for working with us to secure this property below the assessed value and to make this a reality. Having this community care campus in partnership with Norton and UofL Healthcare, the Coalition for the Homeless and others is truly going to be a game-changing initiative for this city. So thank you, George, and thank you to all of the partners that are helping to make this happen. This space, when it's complete, will accommodate well over 150 people. There'll be centralized nursing stations. There'll be securely locked medical supplies and prescriptions, a kitchen, a laundry facility, and much more. It will be co-located on the property 
which is currently home to the Hope Village. And I'm excited to announce that working with Stachel Busey and, I'm sorry, Bussy. I'm sorry, <laughs> Stachel, uh, working with you and your partners at Hope Village, we are going to help make, recently CVS has donated some huts that were used uh, to provide immunizations during COVID-19. Those have been donated to the Hope Village, and we're excited to work with you all to make those a reality to improve the current uh, tents into these huts. And then this is just the beginning of some continued projects that we look forward to working with you all. So I want to thank you. I want to thank all of the partners and to speak a little bit more about this continuing con care continuum healthcare partnership that has been created. I next want to turn it over to Riggs Lewis, representing North Norton Healthcare. Riggs? I would be remiss if I didn't thank the partners at UofL Health, Ken Marshall, uh, and our partner at the Coalition for the Homeless, Natalie Harris. Uh, this project began a year ago, and it was a uh, hands up, palms up discussion of what data do we have at our hospitals that we can share together, which we don't share. We have the admissions of who are homeless, who are seeking care, their admissions, their readmissions. When that data was analyzed, um, you, you saw the same population visiting UofL Health, visiting Norton Healthcare, and being serviced by the Coalition for the Homeless. So our CEO, Russ Cox, said, make a decision. You're going to find care. You're going to care for people where they are. So this project is the first of its kind for us. We are honored to be their partner. Uh, the analysis came back that 80% of the homeless in this community live in the I-65 corridor between downtown Louisville and UofL. We know where they live. We know what they need. So the question was, how can we all combine our resources to make this a reality? So we presented this project to the mayor's transition team, led by uh, Deputy Mayor Nicole George at the time. Her immediate answer was, go faster. Find locations. So we went on a scouting tour of the city, and it is uh, difficult. Difficult to find places that aren't pre-built. Difficult the places that aren't ready to be built out in two to three years with construction costs. So we toured this facility with a nursing team from UofL Health. Laurel Isaac is here to discuss that. Our lead is Casey Kitchler from Norton Healthcare. We took a clinical team of construction, uh, clinical. Uh, Donnie Green from Feed Louisville provided access and information that is, is first class. It's information that nobody in this room really appreciates until you've lived his life. Uh, in conversation with Stachel Bussey over the entire year, uh, we have a saying in Norton Healthcare, we are either caring for someone as a patient, you're a patient-facing provider, or you're caring for those who are. And today is about caring for the Stachel Busseys and the Donnie Greens who walk in there every day. And it's going to be a campus that that man put forward in this community. Thank you. So thank you, Mayor, for making this a reality. Thank you, Riggs, and to thank you to all of our healthcare and other partners in this. And the final part of this strategy that we're announcing today is to build more permanent affordable housing in our city. As we all know, we're over 30,000 units short of affordable housing in this city, and we need to do everything possible to build those units of housing as soon as possible to su uh, support the needs of those who need it the most. And so today's announcement will just be the first of many that we hope to make over the coming months and years ahead to end that gap with a goal of no longer having an affordable housing crisis in our city. So today we're announcing that $24 million will be available for the creation of permanent affordable housing. This is the long-term solution that we, we need. Louisville Metro is seeking partners to help create new permanent ho housing opportunities for very low income households that are at 50% or below of the adjusted median family income. That is what this money is targeted for, supporting units of housing for families and individuals that are at or below 50% of the AMI. Folks that are interested in developing permanent affordable housing that are, meet this criteria should go online to louisvilleky.gov housing where they can see our notice of funding availability and that application is due on March 10th. We will move as quickly as possible after that and hope to make very rapid announcements about how that money will be deployed so that these units of housing that we hope to leverage with other sources of funding can get in the ground, can be built, 
and can open to start changing people's lives immediately. I know this is a large announcement. It's a comprehensive announcement. Each one of these components of this plan could be its own large, important, impactful announcement. But our team has been working with partners over the past 24 days that we've been in office and even before that in the transition period, working as fast and as hard as we can to move our city in a new direction on important issues like this that our city is facing challenges on. We want to address those challenges head on and we want to make meaningful, impactful, long-term differences. So I'm very excited to announce th these, this initial part of the plan today with these amazing community partners, and we're ready to continue this work to get it in the hands of those in need to address this crisis. <laughs>